Welcome to the Liquid Nomad. I'm Del. Today, we're gonna to make the legendary margarita. We're gonna serve it two ways with the split base citrus and give you some garnish tips to step up your game. This is the margarita. Here we are on my good friend Laura's rooftop deck in downtown Baltimore. I bartended a few events for her here, and I'm excited that she offered this beautiful space and view to share with you to make this cocktail. So grab our lime, and using our zester from our channel knife, we're gonna make a pattern. Just be creative. I'm gonna do partial circles. And there's off each loop, and I create a new one all the way up the line. I'm just gonna connect each one from the side of the last, all the way up the line. Once you're done there, take your line, cut it in half, end to end. Then on each of those halves, put a shallow cut down the center. Each of those halves and the wedges. And just like that, we have a next level classic garnish. For upgraded rim, what we're gonna do is take our zest from the lawn and we're gonna fine chop. Now besides obviously color, that's gonna add a little bit of zest as lime oils. I'm gonna take that lime, we're going to mix that into our kosher salt. We're gonna mix that in. That's obviously gonna add some color, but also some of those lime oils and some nice zest. Now to rim our glasses, we're gonna use some of our lime juice as an adhesive. And for our on the rock serve, I want to use our lime kosher salt. Quick rimming note, when you're rimming your glass, dip it and roll it on its side as opposed to dipping straight down. This way you get salt as you want it as you sip as opposed to having a lump of salt in the middle of your cocktail. For upserve, lime juice again, and we're going to rim with tahini chili lime salt. Same deal, we're gonna roll the glass all the way around. Or you can do a half rim for those who wanna choose when they sip with salt. Now you can use salt, uh, flavored colored salts, sugar, uh, tahini, chili lime salt. You know, just really just use your imagination which you want to put on your rim. We'll grab our tins and we're gonna build it to our smaller tin starting with light agave. One third ounce, 10 mils. Now, back to our lime, we're also gonna grab a lemon. So, split base in this particular build is perfect. The lime is very sharp. Uh, lemon has a rounder sour. So they work well together to balance out the agave and the upcoming orange liqueur. Cut these in half. So half an ounce, 15 mils each, lemon and lime. Now 
next for my orange decor, I'm using Pierre Ferrand. And this is my personal preference, but any high quality triple sec will work as well. Orange decor, half an ounce, 15 mil. For our base spirit, I'm using Espelon Reposado Tequila. You can use any brand or style you like. Just make sure it's 100% agave. For the base, two ounces, 60 mils. Fill our tin with ice. Seal our big tin on top. I'm going to shake it for eight seconds. Back to our serving glass. We're going to strain and into your up glass first. I double strain to keep out ice chips and a little bit of pulp. That is optional. Here you have it. This is my favorite build of a margarita. I use the same specs at work because I know it's so crowd pleasing. Two ounces of tequila allowing the agave to stand out. All the citrus from the lemon and lime balance out perfectly with the agave and the orange liqueur. So whether you're drinking this up or on the rocks, I know you're gonna like it. If you tried this recipe or have a drink you wanna see me make, let's keep the conversation going in the comments section. If you like what you saw and wanna see more, like, subscribe, and we'll see you soon.